it's an interesting question of whether our current sort of obsession with bullying is, is, is a sort of translated form of our prior discussions of prejudice. I, I see this in sort of almost two ways. In the one hand, you know, I, I co-edited a book called Pickup Game, which was about pickup basketball. And I think one thing, one reason I love pickup basketball, even though I am 61 years old and shouldn't do it, and rarely do do it, except for when I'm with my 11-year-old son, who's really good, uh, but is pickup ball, basketball, and soccer, which are the only two ones left, is free play. And in free play, kids have to work it out. Kids have to work out, you know, who's picked last, who gets the ball, who doesn't get the ball, who deals with winning and losing. In, every, in, in sports, as kids have it now, there's a coach, there's someone who says they're there, there's someone who helps you out, there's someone who makes sure it's fair and everyone gets equal time. And that's good, sort of, but it's also not good. And I think some part of the focus on bullying is this same sort of trying to control everything and not letting kids work anything out on, on their own. And I think some part of growing up is working things out, having someone be the captain and picking who's on the team and realizing he's going to hurt or she's going to hurt someone's feelings by picking them last, but at some point making that decision because it's going to make a better team. And I think... So I think part of the bullying is this, this, this sort of professionalizing management of every aspect of childhood and not letting kids do that at all. On the other hand, I think what is interesting, and I certain, you know, the way I wrote my Salem Witch Hunt book, I found the actual, well, it's not hard to, the actual transcripts of the pretrial hearings at Salem, which are all we have. We don't have transcripts from the actual trials. And I begin the book with a transcript of what actually happened in court where the accusers, the mainly teenage girls, although there were some adults, some women and men who joined in. And, uh, and I, I have kids read that. And then I say to them, well, why'd you do that? Why would a person your age have carried on like that in court, meaning someone was going to die? If the court believed you, this person on the witness stand was going to be hanged witches were never burned in America. They were hanged. And so the question, I do think there is something about getting kids to think about group behavior, group think, how, how we function in packs, which was true in the past and is true in the present.